Hallelujah. Praise God. We just give God praises and thanks. I welcome everyone, everyone that is listening. We just give God the honor and the glory. Just thank him for this day, for this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Prophetic Utterance. This is my new broadcast with Christ Family Radio. It's a great pleasure to be here. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. Thank God for his mercy and grace. Thank God for his peace and his loving kindness. We just give praises right now to the most high living God. Just thanking him for all things because he is doing great things in our lives. Amen. We just thank God for the quick manifestations that is manifesting throughout our lives in the body of Christ. Amen. We praise God that he is destroying yokes and removing the burdens. We thank God for his anointing. We praise God for the anointing, for his presence, for his power. We thank him for the flow of his Holy Spirit. Amen. So we just want to welcome all our listeners that are listening today. We just want to welcome the presence of God to begin to flow, take dominion, take reign over everything that is happening in our lives. We just give God the honor and the glory. We just thank him because he is a merciful God. We just thank him for all things. Amen. Amen. And I just thank God that he's given me this word today to just begin to minister to the people of God. Just begin to minister life. Amen. To bring forth life. Amen. Just to counsel every assignment, every assignment that has been planted against your life by the enemy. Amen. Because the devil, he is a liar. He is a thief. He only comes to kill, steal and destroy. He does not want you. He does not want me or anyone in the body of Christ to prosper. Amen. He does not want us to prosper in our heart, within our mind, within our soul and our body. He does not want us to increase and multiply by faith. Amen. He does not want us to receive or even acknowledge that we are blessed. Amen. We need to acknowledge every day we are blessed. Amen. We should bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in our mouths. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Blessings. Amen. The inheritance that we have inherited through our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We just give God the praises and we just bless him because he is worthy. We thank God for his mercies this morning. Amen. Today, whatever time of day it is for you. We just give God the honor and the glory for his mercies because his mercies are new. Amen. We just thank him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We're just going to get into the lesson and the lesson today is about deliverance. Amen. How God surrounds us. Amen. With songs of deliverance, the importance of praising God, the importance of acknowledging God 24 seven in your life. Acknowledge him through Psalms. Amen. The word of God tells us specifically that we should pray and also we should worship. Amen. We should seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Just believing in God. When we begin to seek him, begin to knock at the door. Amen. Just begin to knock, 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 being persistent, knocking. Amen. Until the door begins to open. There's a word right now just going around. God is going to open doors that no man can shut. And I believe God has already opened the doors, but I also believe that there's many people are not walking into their doors. Amen. I feel like sometimes the enemy distracts us. Amen. He prevents us. He limit us. Amen. He doesn't want us to cross over. Amen. So we don't go into those doors, into those passageways that God has already opened for us. So we limit ourselves. Amen. By sight. And the word of God say we walk by faith. We are, we, we are to walk by faith. We have to believe before we see it. Amen. We have to have the attitude that it's already done because that's, that's the way God is. Let's, let's just go there. Um, let's go to the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter one. Amen. Let's talk about, uh, deliverance. Let's talk about man, quick manifestations. Let's just have a conversation about the greatness of God. Let's just believe God today for everything that he has already done and the things he has already begun. Amen. Done. He's already done it. He, he has already begun it. Amen. Praise God. But everything that God did, he did by his spirit. He did it with his word. God activated everything by his word. Amen. And the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. So it's so important that we begin to allow the word of God to manifest into our conversations, into our lifestyle. Amen. So before I get started, let me just begin to pray. And allow the Holy Spirit access and put on a beautiful worship song so we could just relax <laughs> and enjoy him. Amen. 
is good. Amen. Abba Father, we welcome you. You're welcome. Come. Come, Father. Sit with us. Sit with me, Lord. I bid you. I entreat you, Father God. Come. Come, Abba Father. Open the hearts and the minds of your people so that they can receive what you have for them. You're an awesome God. You're a God of righteousness. Yay. I love you, Lord. Praise God. I love you. I love everything what you're doing, Father God. I love what you're doing in my life and in the lives of those who loves you, who trust in you, who believes in you, believes in everything that you are doing right now. I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. I acknowledge him. He is the son of the most high living God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe he is the son of God. I believe he died on the cross for the sin of the world. He died for us. He died for me. I believe he was buried. Hey, I believe he was buried and he resurrected on the on the third day. And I thank God that he sits on the right hand of the father in the seat for us day and night. Oh, Lord God, you are merciful. You are merciful, God, and we thank you for your mercies, God. We entreat you, God, right now. Abba Father, you're welcome. You're welcome, Holy Spirit. You are welcome. Come, come. Give us more wisdom. Give us more, more wisdom, more revelation, more, Father, more, more wisdom, Father God. Give it to us liberally, Father God. Just, just give it to us, God. Overflow, overflow with wisdom, revelation, more of you, God, more of you, understanding, knowledge. We just want more of you. I want more of you, God. Hey, we praise you, God. We thank you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for your mercies. In Jesus' name, amen.
just lift up your voice and ask him. Oh. Praise God. We just give God the honor and the glory. We thank him for that moment. Hey, with his presence, with his Holy Spirit, just asking the Lord to take us. Amen. To just walk with us, to abide with us. Amen. It is so important to allow the Holy Spirit to have dominion and reign over us, over our lives. Everything that concerns us, we should just allow him. And, you know, just like I was saying earlier before, you know, we got into the worship that it's important, amen, to activate our faith, that God will begin to allow us to walk through those doors. Well, God has opened the doors, but it's like I said earlier, I don't believe a lot of people are trusting themselves to walk through those doors, you know, because God is a God of deliverance, amen. God is a God of righteousness. He would do anything he, he wants in our lives if we permit him. Amen. Praise God. So Genesis chapter one, the word of God says in the beginning, God created the the heaven and the earth. It says in the beginning. So God is the alpha. Amen. He is the alpha. He is the beginning. God created. God created the heaven. God created the earth and the earth was without form and void. So when God came into the picture, he saw Amen. And that's what that's what it's about. He saw that the earth was 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 void. He saw that the earth didn't have any shape. He saw that darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. So we have the father. We have the word of God. We have the spirit of God. And as soon as God began to activate his word and the spirit of God moved accordingly to what God has spoke. Amen. That's just like when a prophet speaks, he speaks those things that he can't see. Amen. But he bring it into quick manifestation by aligning himself and agreeing with what the spirit of God is saying. Amen. And then once that happens, there's an activation when the person says, so be it unto me. Amen. It's just like when Mary, Mary was a child and, and Gabriel came and told her that she was going to be with child. And she said, wait a minute, I'm not married. I haven't been with no man. <laughs> but that didn't discourage Gabriel. Gabriel was bringing her a message, just like I'm bringing a message to you today. I'm I'm separating a message of encouragement, amen. A message of deliverance. I'm, I'm I want to encourage you to get you to understand that you need to begin to praise your way out of your situation. Begin to worship, amen. Begin to activate your faith, just like God did in the beginning. Omega, Omega began to speak, amen. He saw the situation. Amen. He saw the earth was was without shape. He saw it was without form. Amen. He saw it was empty. He saw it was dark, but that didn't limit him. God saw the open door. He saw the portal was open and God came and began to speak life. And when the Holy Spirit heard the word and the word came and dwelt among us, which is the son of Jesus. Amen. When, when the spirit heard and the word began to minister, begin to speak. Amen. The earth began to form a shape. God said, let there be light. And there was light. Just like Mary. Mary said, so be it unto me because her faith came to life. She didn't see 
how this situation was going to work out. But she believed because Gabriel said, you have been chosen. Amen. And I'm here to tell you today, you have been chosen. Many are called. Amen. But a few are chosen. But I'm here to tell you today, God has called you. God has chosen you. Amen. So what you have to do, man of God, what you have to do, woman of God, or whoever's listening, Make a decision today to begin to praise God. Begin to ask God to be merciful to you. Ask God to forgive you for your sins. Ask God to wash you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Sanctify yourself daily with the word of God. Sanctify yourself daily with songs of worship, songs of deliverance. Amen. Surround yourself daily with worship. Amen. Songs that break. Amen. Break those strongholds, those manifestations. Amen. That comes from the enemy. Amen. Amen. Start, start speaking life. Amen. Don't align yourself with your situation. Don't align yourself with what's going on around you. Amen. Yeah, it's real. It's your reality. It's happening, but you could change it. Don't let it change you, but you could change it. How can you change it? When you begin to worship God, when you begin to acknowledge him. Amen. When you begin to entreat him and when you begin to say, God, come to me, God, grant me Come, come, God, come, come into my presence, Lord. Just like Zachariah. Zachariah got up in the top of the tree because he was such a short man. He couldn't see Jesus. But when Jesus saw Zachariah, he said, Zachariah, Zachariah, come, come down, come down, get down. And he got down and he invited the Lord to his house and they sat down and they ate. So I'm telling you today, that type of faith, you got to have that type of faith. Get down. Get off the tree. Come down. Hey, and that's God to come. Come to you. Come, Lord. Come to me. Come, sit with me, Lord. (laughs) Sit, have dinner with me, God. Amen. Praise God. Um, Turn with me to Psalms 32, verse 7. Amen. And it says here, it says, uh, praise God, verse 6. It says, therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you while you may be found. Surely when the mighty waters rise, they will not reach him. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. God is our hiding place. God is godly. We have to seek God in holiness. We got to be godly about the way we seek God. I know sometimes we get overwhelmed in our flesh, but there's a way we have to present ourselves to God. The word of God says that we should present ourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing, acceptable unto God. Amen. Because we are no longer conformed to this world. We are being transformed. Our minds are being renewed daily with the word of God. So when we begin to seek God, we got to seek him in spirit and in truth. That's what it's about. Worship is about spirit and being in the spirit, being in the presence of God, allowing the Holy Spirit to hover over us like he did over the face of the earth. And then when God begins to speak a word, the Holy Spirit is going to hover right over you, right over your your life, everything that concerns you. The spirit of the Lord is going to hover. And when God say, let there be life, let there be healing, let there be restoration, let there be reconciliation, let there be deliverance for this this person, let the yokes be removed. Let the burdens be destroyed. Uh, the burdens removed and the yokes destroyed. God is going to begin to minister to your situation. Begin to minister to you. You have to understand that when deliverance come, your mind must be transformed. You cannot be the same person when you get out of that situation. So you got to begin to worship God. You got to just cry out to God. You got to say, Lord, be merciful to me. God, be my deliverance. Surround me. Lord, surround me with songs of deliverance, Father God. Surround me, God. Cover me, God, with your presence in the name of your son, Jesus, Father God. Surround me, Father God, with your songs, Father God, so that I will have peace, Father God. Even while I'm going through the storm, Father God, I will have peace. Mm -hmm. Turn, O Lord, turn and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. No one remembers you when he is dead. Who praises you from the grave? Yeah, who praises God? God. Who remembers God when they are dead? You got life in you. Give praise and thanks to the Lord for all things. Just begin to 
show him, begin to show him your gratitude, your attitude of gratitude. Just say, I give thanks, God, no matter what my situation, you are the alpha and the omega. You are the God who is the author and the finisher of my faith. I thank you, Father God. You are the omega God. You are the alpha God. You begin, Father God. You end it, Father God. What you start, you finish it, Father God. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you are the author and the finisher of my faith. I thank you, Lord. I give you the praises, God. I bless your name because you are my righteousness, God. You are my healer, Father God. And I bless you, Father God. You are the author, Father God. Yeah, God, I bless you, Lord. You are my righteousness. I thank you, Lord, that you are my salvation in the name of Jesus. You are my salvation and I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the name of Jesus, I pray this word will lift you today, that you will be delivered completely from the snare of the fowler, from the noise and pestilence, that you will be delivered and set free, that you will turn away from your sins and walk away completely from every evil thought, every wicked assignment that has been assigned against your life. So be it unto you. In Jesus' name, amen.
Like a flood 